Okay, thank you for watching. Um, really huge thank you to the person that sent this to me. You know who you are. This is a really, really great catch. All right, this is a big deal to me. Ronda Rousey's yellow and purple feet are internet mystery. That's a big story right now. Um, the purple and yellow is associated and connected to atomic and nuclear power, and that's not my connection. That is occult science. I'm not taking credit for it, okay? I'll put a link below to his website. You can ask him or look at his old videos and get more into it because I don't want to make this video super long, okay? But it goes back to the Phoenicians. They were the purple people eaters. You know, they're, they're the ones who messed with all this stuff first, okay? As far as we know, because of records. Okay, you got the from from the, from the Phoenician comes the word phone and a phone rings and Saturn is the real name is Bell Saturn and the bell rings and Earth rings and the moon rings supposedly this is all said by scientists by NASA and I know and I know that they're, that's bullshit but I'm just telling you that that's what they even say. Okay, so the purple and the yellow is associated with uh, atomic nuclear power. Okay, now let's go on to the tree of life here. This is the tree of life. Okay, this is atomic. This is nuclear. The soul, in my opinion, is nuclear, all right, or atomic, whatever you want to call it. But this is the Kabbalistic tree of life. Big deal to these sat fake Jew Saturn scums that run everything. Okay, this is how the the code. This is like the code. This is how the re reality works. This is a representation of the universe. It's also a representation of you and me, all right. Um, now it's the same thing that's on the St. John's Cathedral. Okay, that's the same thing. A big, if not the biggest, mega church, and it's on there on their carvings with all these other creepy things, like the birth of the new world order, which isn't really new. It's the old order, same thing over and over again, and and the destruction of what looks like New York. Okay, now this tree of life, right? It's a tree. Now, if you go to type in mushroom clouds, nuclear blast, you could see it's just it's a tree. It's also a mushroom, but it's a tree, because the mushroom is a representation of the time before this. See, this is even from the Smithsonian. Long before trees overtook the land, Earth was covered by giant mushrooms. There was a whole set of, t of time that happened before this time that we're in now. In the beginning of the Bible, when it says, God says, let there be light. Okay, that's the beginning of this age. This is like the, the, the new time. There was a time before that. Even, when, even in Genesis, God says, replenish the Earth, as in do it again. Replenish, do it again. Okay, just imagine like what Einstein said, right? What Einstein say? He said that the World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. So just imagine there being a whole other set of world wars, and this will just, and this started from like World War IV on, just kind of like Star Wars, right? Star Wars started episode four, five, and six. Well, imagine World War One, two, and three, episode one, two, and three was last time, now it's this time. Because even Robert Oppenheimer, right? The guy, the father of the atom bomb, when asked if this was the first ever detonation of a nuclear bomb, because this we're talking about the testing, the testing of the nuclear bomb. When asked if this was the first ever detonation of a nuclear bomb, he said yes in modern times. Okay? Because this has happened before. There was a big, huge nuclear atomic disaster that changed everything. Okay? And I've had people say, well, we don't know if he said that. Okay, we'll prove that he didn't. Simple as that. Real simple. Now, I've had people, I had someone also ask me about Adele, this chick, Adele, right? A big, huge singer, and they're making a huge deal because she's selling her albums like at like four million records or whatever, like it's a crazy sale, okay, amount of records that she sold. And I told him, I, or her, I don't know what, what him or her, I don't know who, who or she, if it was he or she, so I'm not trying, I just don't want to be disrespectful or anything like that. Um, wondering what, what that was all about. And I told him I didn't really know for sure, but now I've been thinking about it. The number of that album was 25. Well, 2 plus 5 is 7, right? That's the end. That's the completion of things. That's the end of the cycle. Remember, even Christine Lagarde last year said the number 7 was very important. Christine Lagarde, the head of the IMF, was talking numerology. And then remember, this cow was born, what was it, last year, 2014, with the number 7 on its head? They're just, there's a whole new way of doing things. That's coming up here soon. All right. And I really just hope that this whole climate summit, this isn't the last supper. You know, this may be the last time these public, these guys can all publicly get together like this. And I tell you what, it just really makes me think that that's what the whole Paris thing was about. I mean, they're going to need martial law on the streets anyway. That's part of the plan. But it almost makes you wonder if they stage that whole thing so they can make sure, for sure, that their last supper goes off without a hitch. You know, I, I certainly hope not, but just makes me wonder, man. So 
I hope this video wasn't too crazy. Thanks to everybody for watching. Sorry and I talk fast. I get excited. I can't help it. All right. <laughs> my apologies. I'm pretty passionate about this stuff. So thank you to my subscribers for watching. Thank you to everybody for the support.